What's going on, people? It is Hayden here, otherwise known as Zom, which is the Zero Oxygen Music. And today we are showing you a build that I am happy to bring you guys pretty soon up and coming. And it is a Keith Richards replica Micawber build. And it is for under $500. So I will be sh giving you the full part list and a couple other parts as well um, that you could sub out for if you wanted to get a little bit more expensive one. Because mine's going to be sitting at around $400 right now. And some of the parts I will be doing later and installing later. And I'll be reassessing once I'm sure I'll have enough money or even if it's worth me getting. But let's start out right now with the guitar. This guitar is a Squire Affinity Telecaster in Butterscotch Blonde. The right color for Keith Richards, the right color for me. And this will be the base for our Macabre build. It is a $200 guitar by Fender. It is a, the Squire version and pretty much Squire's actually been pretty good for building Fenders, cheap Fenders. Uh, because as the price of the actual fenders have gone up since the 70s, 80s, 90s, uh, the price of the Squires, of course, went down because at one point they were branded as Fender guitars, but then they were rebranded as Squire in the upcoming like 2000s. Uh, they might have might have been the 90s as well. I don't know the exact year, but regardless, still a nice guitar. You really don't compromise other than the hardware because you're not going to have great pickups. They sound pretty good for their price, but they're not going to sound as good as a more expensive guitar. The finish itself, I mean, it might be a bit cheap. As a plastic nut, you know, you may be a little bit turned away from the finish. It might not be up to your standards, but uh, for under $500, this is one of the best guitars you can buy for around 200 bucks and for under 500 in general. Um, but there are plenty of better ones, just to be fair. So we're going to stick with the 200 best guitar for around 200 bucks. So if you're just starting out or just learning, this is a good guitar to start with right here. And you'll get a bit of street cred if people don't know guitar types, but they know actual guitarists, they're going to think you have a good one. So now, moving on, we also have... Uh, what else did we buy? We bought a one-ply humbucking electric guitar pick guard. And this is the one for the Fender guitars, not the Squire. It says it does not fit the Squire, but we'll make it fit. And it just has the cutout for a Fender, I mean a Squire. So you can put a humbucker. And if you've caught on by now, we're doing the humbucker switchover. So right on the screen, we're going to have a picture of a regular Squire affinity telecaster or just a regular telecaster in general i'm going to put a regular telecaster not the squire one but regular one on the screen right now and then i'm also going to put a keith richards telecaster so you can see the difference all right moving on we have also we will be buying some Schaller security strap locks either in nickel or in chrome because uh, I have them on my other two guitars now, which I have a video for, actually, I can put in the description below a video for how to install strap locks. However, strap locks, you need them, to be honest. If you're, if you worry about your guitar, if you are playing on stage, you know, if you're just playing standing upright, which you should be playing standing upright and not just sitting down all the time, but you risk dropping your guitar with the regular, uh, the regular strap buttons or whatever they're called and uh it's about a 20 dollar investment with the shawler ones and uh, honestly it's one of the best investments you can get rather than buying a new neck for a couple hundred bucks and trying to figure out how to reinstall it on your guitar moving on from ebay we got these handcrafted macabre style pickups they are brilliant a lot of people have bought these I guess maybe only, maybe at most 50, but still, for what it is, a lot of people bought them. And here's a short description. Uh, Keith Richards Sound, here's the pickups, the rest is up to you. I, re I receive requests for this set often enough. I figured I should offer it in my pickup line. A stout class of PAF style humbucker for the neck, constructed using error correct, butch rat, uh, bobbins, with specialized selected 42 AWG plain enamel magnetic wire. And 
I'm trying to learn more about guitar um, hardware and electronics, but honestly, I don't really understand this. Unpolished rough cast full size uh, Almeco 5 magnets maple spacer, and I'll leave the rest uh, in a screenshot on this video. If you want to come back and read it yourself, just pause the video. You can read all this. Uh, however, we'll get back to the pickups. So you've got a humbucker and a um, Onama, what is this? A Onamic Windery uh, Telecaster, and what is this? The bridge pickup. Uh, they're both rewired to complement each other better and to sound like Keith Richards' Telecaster for a budget. It's about 160 bucks with about 9 to $10 of shipping. And again, there'll be pictures of this song whenever we look at this. Underneath, they have the picture of Macabre. So it says uh, Onamic Windery Handcrafted Guitar Pickups USA Macabre. And they're pretty cool. Now, if you go back to eBay, and bear with me for a second. I am pulling up the website again. We have the uh, other Macabre Macabre pickups. Uh, you can just type in Macabre pickups. And uh, he just relisted his handcrafted Macabre style pickups because I bought one so it went off and then he's relisting it again. But um, we have the original custom Macabre. It's six. This says Midob, Midobber. Telecaster pickups, five string macabre, A3 hand wound. This guy, I've heard a lot of good reviews about this guy. They, of course, are more battle worn, so they're going to look a lot closer to Keith Richards' actual pickups. And I've heard they sound really nice as well. It has a 1950s broadcaster style Al Nico 3 bridge pickup and a 1959 PAF style uh, Al Nico 3 neck humbucker, and that's pretty cool. So a picture of that will be included, as well as the pricing and the whole description if you want to read that. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we don't have a strap coming anytime soon, and we don't have any other mods really. Um, but that's pretty much it. So that's around 400-ish bucks, and I'll keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.